Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to use your texture as a matcap. We will be adding the matcap right here and you will see it right there in this position. So let's get started. Let's go to render and change the render engine to cycles. Let's move to film, transparent. Let's move to output and change the resolution to 512 by 512. Select the file that you want to use to save your image and select your format. I'm going to use PNG but you can use OpenEXR or any other. Now let's add a sphere, shift A, UV sphere, right click on it, shade smooth, let's go to the modifier, subdivision surface, leave it like that. Let's go to view, area, split. And right here we are going to use the shader editor. We need to add our texture right here for the sphere. Click on new. And I have a texture prepared for this one. You can get this texture using the link in the description. I'm going to connect this one right there. For the likes, I'm going to use an HDRI. So let's go here and change the world. Select this one. If you're using the Wrangler node, you just need to press Ctrl plus T. And here, add your HDRI image. Let's check what we have. We just need to select the view, like, I like this one with some light and some shadows right here. So while you're here, just press Control, Alt, Number Pad, Zero to get something like this. Select your camera, object data, and reduce the focal length a little bit. Just a little bit, like that. Your sphere needs to be close to your borders. Now that you have this one, let's render the image. Now that we have our image safe, you just need to go to viewport shading, matcap, select the cogwell, and click install in the matcap area. And here we have our image. Go back to viewport shading and click on the matcap and you have your new one right here. Select it and you will have something like this. And now you can use your texture as a matcap. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Bye.